Starkiller, once Dark Vader's secret apprentice has formed the Rebel Alliance, sacrificed himself to save it. He wakes up on Kamino, and Dark Vader's telling him he's a clone. But he knows that he can't trust Darth Vader and he has memories and he wants to follow these memories and find the secret of his identity. So he blasts out of his confinement cell in Kamino and literally goes diving through the air trying to make his way to freedom. So as you can see here, this is a, a brand new gameplay mode for the Force Unleashed 2. He's falling through the air. He's got access to all his Force powers, push, lightning, and saber, blasting things out of his way. Really huge, dynamic, big opening to the game. This is the, the very beginning of the game. So as Devin makes his way down to the bottom here, He's going to crash through this glass with a huge impact. Uh, and this is all thanks to uh, our three physics systems, which are Havoc, uh, the, which uh, governs the underlying physics of every object, Digital Molecular Matter, which creates a very believable shattering and breaking of glass, uh, and Euphoria, which simulates those bodies in motion. So one of the biggest changes you can see right away is that there's a two lightsaber fighting style now. It's much more acrobatic, a lot more of a flourish. We've redesigned all the combos and all the saber combos to really take advantage of uh, and paying off on that really great two lightsaber fighting style. So Devin here is showing off the power of Force Grip. Force Grip is uh, a power that was in the original game, but we've really worked uh, very hard improving the targeting uh, and the, uh, the ability to be very accurate with it. You can pick up any object, move it around in three dimensions, and then toss it with a high degree of accuracy, uh, including stormtroopers, as you saw there. Uh, Devin's about to show you one of our brand new force powers in the game. This is Jedi Mind Trick. Just in the same way that uh, all the force powers in the Force Unleashed have been completely re-envisioned and are over the top, this is our unleashed version of Mind Trick. So with a wave of his hand, Devin can give this stormtrooper the suggestion to leap right out of that plate glass window. At higher levels, you're able to mind trick multiple enemies at once, uh, and they don't just throw themselves into harm's way. They also are going to uh, attack each other, fight for you, uh, and, uh, and do some other pretty cool stuff. Now, uh, as Devin goes up, you can see a stormtrooper just threw himself right into a force field and disintegrated himself. You can see that the lightsaber has a lot more of an impact in the world. We also wanted to make the lightsaber uh, really feel like a lightsaber, paying off on that, you know, that visceral sensation of combat, and really make you feel like you had an effect on your environment. So Devin here is, uh, is uh, playing against some Imperial Riot Troopers. These are uh, a brand new class of enemy. Uh, these enemies are very, very strong against your lightsaber attacks. They have a staff made out of Cortosis, which is of course the only element in the Star Wars universe that can uh, protect against a lightsaber. But they're very weak against force powers, so while they'll knock Devin back and they'll counterattack a melee attack, force powers can just send them flying, hit them into an object like that, uh, and do a lot of damage. Later on in the game, you'll have a lot of enemies that have very specific weaknesses uh, and very specific uh, strengths. And by combining those together, we really get tactically significant combat situations in which we really force the player to think on their feet, uh, really choose up their, uh, their combat style on the fly to do some really cool stuff. Devin has also showed off some grapple moves. Those are those close range combat uh, things. You can do those with a, a very quick press of two buttons at the same time. Those grapple moves, there's a whole bunch of them. This is an aerial series of grapples here. Uh, they allow you to do a really quick, very cool cinematic uh, and very high uh, impact uh, move against the, uh, the stormtroopers. There's a whole bunch of them depending on which enemies you're fighting, whether you're in the air or on the ground, and which series of buttons you've pressed. So there's also this turbo laser here. Uh, we're on Camino. This is a drill grounds where the Empire trains uh, stormtroopers who are stationed here. Uh, there's a big turbo laser here with that big red pattern on the ground that's tracking Devin. So he constantly has to keep away from that. As soon as it turns red, he knows he's in trouble and he's got to get away from that beam.